wanna run away Why you gotta be afraid? What's up good people? It's your girl Rochelle and I am back with another video. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I am so happy to be here with you on another payday weekend. Now I am coming to you with a cash stuffing and I want to share with you guys how we're looking for this week. So first off, I went to the ATM, so I wasn't able to get exact change, but no worries, we're gonna make it work. So my cash breakdown basically is all 20s, and we're gonna be stuffing $500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be up? Okay, so I had to count it twice to make sure it was right, and it is. We have $500. So I am going to next do my wallet cash envelope unstuffing because I have plans for this money. So this is money that I have been living off of for the last two weeks. So let's see how we're looking. First up in the tips category, this is gonna be a major change. Up until this point, I have been keeping all of my $5 bills here. I have five, 10, $15 left. I actually was made aware of recently that there's going to be um, opportunities to give to gifts to the staff who work in our building twice a year. And so I am going to start stuffing as many $5 bills as I can toward that arrangement. So in order to do that, we're going to take the $5 bills we have and we're going to make use of my Louis Vuitton box. And so I'm going to start putting any $5 bills I get in here. And in July, we will count them up and see how much we're going to give away. We're going to hold on to one $5 bill in case, you know, there's just somebody who does something and I just can't hold out till July. Personal has nothing. Groceries has money. What? Can't believe it. So I'll just set the $5 here and I'll stuff them all at the end. Um, and miscellaneous. Yeah, miscellaneous has money. It has oh a whole lot of ones. Okay, so this is you know my rule, once I get any $1 bills, they all go to the nickel challenge. Okay, so now we can start over. Let's stuff these for our next two weeks. First up is tips. Tips we're not going to stuff. Next up is personal. Personal is going to get $40. Next up is groceries. Groceries is going to get $100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And next up is miscellaneous, and it's going to get $40. Okay, so that was $180 we just stuffed to my wallet cash envelopes. Now let's move on to the sinking funds, shall we? Okay, so first up, we know that self-care needs to get some money. So self-care, we're starting with you, boo. Normally I put 110, but since I couldn't get any um, tens make it work with 120. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Oh, I picked up the exact amount. How did I do that? Next up is beauty. Beauty is going to get $60. 20, 40, 60. You see, I cut all my nails off, y'all. It feels so good. I can grip stuff better. Anyway, let me stay focused. Stay focused. Okay. 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230. So $230 in beauty. Next up is row. Row, I'm going to give myself just $20. And I used my money to get my nails done. So starting fresh. Next up is house and hygiene. House and hygiene is getting $40. It's empty. 20, 40. Then next up is my favorite category, Louie Louie. You're getting 20. Let's see. Okay. So we've got 100, 20, 40, 60, 70. So we've got 170 in the bank. 
in the Louis Vuitton cash envelope bag. And then the last one I wanna stuff in here is health. Here we go, health, because we just went to the dentist and I'm tired of the guesswork. I We have really good insurance, but sometimes there's just something we always end up having to pay. So we're gonna start beefing this up a little more. Um, Micah will be getting his braces off probably later this year. There's gonna be more retainer work and all that jazz. We're gonna get ready, we're gonna get ready. So we're gonna put $60. So that's the last of the 20s. So now we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So $190 toward health. So we just stuffed uh, $320 in our sinking funds. So that's awesome. Now we're going to switch over to our savings challenges briefly, just briefly, and make a pit stop at the nickel challenge and put all of these ones inside the nickel challenge. So we've got a good bit here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So if, whew, hopefully I will have enough for next week's nickel challenge because it is a non-pay week. We count non-pay weeks as weeks that Micah does not get paid. My income is not guaranteed and so I want to make sure that I'm set. Okay, that's it for that one for now. And then let's hop back over to our new plan to save all of our $5 bills and put them all in here. And then we'll count them up later this year. Okay, so that just leaves us with our prop money. It's time to share with you guys a sinking funds update. And so I'm gonna pull out my binder and let you know how we're looking for the month of February so far. So basically um, sinking funds are um, items that I don't add to every week. Usually it ends up being every two weeks. And so let's start with, which one should we start with? How about we start with the emergency fund? Just cause, just cause. So emergency fund, it had $2,926.59. We added $109.93 to it since the last time um, we talked. And so that leaves it with a new balance of th just over $3,000, $3,036.52. So I might have already done this. I might have already added. Yeah, I did. So this is how much our emergency fund is looking like right now. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm happy that we officially met our um, two month emergency fund goal. So we are now working on, actually, you know what, it's three months and now we're actually working on four months worth of emergency fund money. All right, next up is the kitchen. Now the kitchen took a little bit of a hit. We did have to pay for some repairs for the house this past weekend, but um, still looking good. It had $2,502 in it. We had to pay $272.50 from out of this category. And we were able to add $1,025 to this sinking fund. And so that gives us a new total of $3,255.02. So I think I've already added this also. Let's see, $1,000, $2,2500. Okay, so we can come up, we can put that back. And we now are working with over just over $3,000 in our kitchen rental fund. So this is once again, just prop money that I use as a visual to track our electronic sinking funds. I am so excited. Okay, anyway, next up is rent savings. There was no change here yet because I haven't had to pay rent. We did have um, our reimbursement and so I will, just go ahead and add that. So I guess that technically was a change because how much is this? One, two, three, four, five, 500. Okay, so I'm going to double this because we received our second reimbursement. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna use a 500. And so we are looking good for the month. I um, 
I may use some of this money and put it towards our March bills. I'm thinking about it because I'm really getting into YNAB, y'all. And I really, like you all, you guys already know I like to keep a $1,000 account buffer, but I am starting to think that we're gonna just switch over to YNAB because I like the idea of getting ahead by several months. I've been watching a lot of y'all videos and I just want you to know I'm watching you. I'm watching you. So we'll see, we'll see. I just want to make sure I'm using this money and you know responsibly. Next up is travel. Okay, so let's talk about electronic travel sinking funds. So we had uh, started with five hundred and fifteen dollars and thirty three cent, and we were able to add another fifty dollars, and so now we should have five hundred sixty five dollars and thirty three cents. So that's not enough to add to this, but it's cute to look at though. Okay, so that's 500. Next up is gifts, which I don't track, but, uh, well, I don't track with prop money and that got $50. So we have a $50 gift balance. Taxes, we did not add to. It has just over $500. It has $516 and two cent in it. So we just got one $500 there. And I'm sure we'll be using that real soon because it is tax time. Oh. Um, next is eating out. It had zero dollars because we use that money. And so we added a hundred dollars to it. So that's what we're working with for the next two weeks. Uber and Lyft had $60.88 and we didn't spend anything and added $25 to it. So it now has $85.88. Y'all, I walked to get my nails done, in case you're wondering, in case you're wondering. I left Eva home with daddy and I hoofed it. And it was a mile and a half each way. So I got a nice little workout in on the way and I took breaks. It was beautiful. It was 80 degrees outside. I'm like, yeah, I need to do this all the time. I saved myself $25 by walking. Anyway, anyway, anyway. The last category that I wanted to update you guys on is our Tesla fund. Now this one made big strides quickly. Oh, what is that? But anyway, um, this one made big strides in the month of January and I wanna share with you guys what that was. So at the end of January, we had contributed $836.02 to our Tesla fund, which is off the hook. Um, that we were able to do that in one month. And then I realized we had a missing $110 payment. So I added that in for this month. And I also contributed another $60, no, sorry, another $50 to that. So now that gives us a grand total of $996.02. And I'm so mad at myself for not realizing we were that close to 1,000 because I would have just added the other $4. Ugh. So anyway, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. You know what? We are upgrading this bad boy to $1,000 because we have saved just shy of $1,000 towards our Tesla. And our goal is to save enough money where we can at least put down half um, for the Tesla. So, because we just don't like long-term agreements, okay? <laughs> But that is it. That's all of our electronic sinking funds and our savings. That's how we're looking for the month. And we still, we're halfway, we're halfway through the month of February, right? Yeah. So that's, this will go back into my wallet. Well, that's all for me. I'll see you guys in the next video and I will share my latest sunset with you guys over here on the island of Hawaii. It's another beautiful day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace, love, and budgets. I guess I need to give y'all peace, love. I don't know how to do love with one hand, but love and budgets. Second.